Hey everyone, our team has been working on a system for creating cutscene from UOT for the last 6 months and we just launched it in the asset store. So the main idea behind the system is to be able to create engaging dialogues and cutscenes easily using a node based editor by switching camera angles and playing animations in order to the conversation. So here's a simple cutscene I built using the system. It only took me around 20 minutes to create this. So let me give you a basic overview of how this was created using the cutscene system. So here I have a simple scene with a third person controller and an NPC. So I want to start a dialogue when the player goes and talks to the NPC. So first I opened up the cutscene graph editor and created a new cutscene. And then I added some dialogue nodes for showing the dialogues. So here in the cutscene editor, we can just right click and add whatever node we want. And I also added some choice nodes for showing choices after the dialogue. So since we're using a node based editor, it's really easy to create branching dialogues by showing choices to the player. So next, I added a cutscene trigger component onto my NPC and I assigned the cutscene that we just created. So this will start the cutscene when the player enters this collider that's around the NPC. So this is how it looks like with just the dialogue nodes. But that's not very interesting. So we want to do things like change the camera angles and play animations to make the cutscene look more interesting. So I went back to the cutscene editor and I created a set camera angle node for changing the camera angle during the dialogues. So here we can just specify an object we want to focus and give a camera angle that we want. And if you want the current camera angle to slowly blend towards our new angle, then we can give it a blend time. So this node will just place the camera at the back right position of the player. And this is how it looks like when we play the game. So next I added more set camera angle nodes and kept changing the camera angle every few dialogues to make it look interesting. So next, I wanted to play animations while a character is talking. So we have an option for that under the additional foldout of a dialogue node. So here we can just specify the animator on which you should play the animation and then the name of the animation that we want to play. And this is the result. The NPC is now playing animations while seeing the dialogue. So next I did the same for other dialogue nodes and I also played animations on Pokemon while showing them. So next, while showing the Pokemon, I also wanted to play their cries. So for that, I just used a play audio node and assigned the cry audio of the Pokemon. Okay, so I repeated that for other two Pokemon here. And this is the result. So yeah, this is just a basic overview of how I created the cutscene using the system. If you want a more step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the system to create cutscenes, then you can check out this tutorial. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Also, if you want to pick this up from the asset store, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Since we just launched it, there is a two week launch discount period going on in which you can get the asset for 30% which discount. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this asset, then feel free to drop them in the comments. All right, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.